I'm sure that some of you are feeling really clever and you're thinking that what I'm going to do is just come in here and where it says box curve, I'm going to say string my cell matrix and then I'll come in here and I'll do the same thing. There are a couple of problems with this. The first is that with my matrix I need to tell the connect attribute command which item number within the matrix I'm supposed to be using. This first one should be the first object in my selection. The first object in my selection is numerated with the zero. This one should be the second object in my selection. The second object in my selection is numerated with a one. Ha! Huh so much better. Unfortunately, in programming, this isn't quite grammatically correct either, because at this point, I'm not really telling Maya what to do with the variable. What I have to do is I have to tell Maya to add this object in my selection to dot rotate, and grammatically, what that looks like is this. I'll just put in a couple of parentheses and I'll do this down here first and then I'll go back up. So we'll say string my selection matrix whatever number, we'll put in an X there, plus two quotation marks and you see how the quotation marks turn yellow? That means that I can put whatever kind of text I want inside. The text I want is dot rotate. So that's the actual thing that I want both of these to say. If I go through here, I can just put in parenthesis open, parenthesis closed, parenthesis open, parenthesis closed. After I close my matrix, I'm going to put in a plus sign and then I will put in my quotation marks again after I close the matrix, plus sign and quotation marks. The grammar for this type of thing is always going to be the same and that's why I wanted to get it out down here. So it's always going to be my variable plus whatever, like so. So keep that in the back of your head because we are probably going to be replacing other things with variables at some point. So there you go. The grammar is going to be like that. I'll go ahead and remove this and then up here I'm going to put in a comment that reminds me that this is connecting the first selected object to the second. Okay, so let's check this code out right here, just like this, and see if it works. I will make a double arrow and a circle. I will select them both. I selected the circle first, the arrow second. Let me take this code and run it. I didn't get any error messages, that's a good sign. And now if I look at the arrow, I can see that its rotates are yellow, which means that if I take the circle and I rotate it, that rotates both of them. fab u -lus. My code works. So this is great and I could take it and add it up to my shelf just like that, but I think I'd like to get a little bit fancier and make a button for it. So I will do that in the next video.